Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Spider Verse um, miniseries called Scarlet Spiders, issue number one of three. The title of this issue is The Widow, and it is written by Mike Costa with art by Paco Diaz. And this story picks up, you know, kind of a little bit after they the three clones separated from the rest of the pack in. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 10. You got Jessica Drew, who's narrating this whole um, issue. You got Kane Parker, and you got Ben Riley. And they're all going into it with their own stuff. Ben, you know, rushes right in because he's used to being winning. And they walk, and he's expecting to see, like, this horrible planet that they're on. But they're not. They're actually on, like, this utopian, futuristic society um, if you watch um, animated series, it's sort of like how Metropolis was on Superman the Animated Series. And they, you know, real fast get dressed up because they find out that, you know, Kane figures out that they're in a hospital and brings them back robes. Um, he tells them that he doesn't need a robe because he has a stealth suit that he could be invisible. Ben Riley tells him, oh yeah, I know that. I kind of invented one like that myself, you know, on my in my Earth. Which makes me wonder, why doesn't he have technology like that on his regular suit? But, you know, probably because he's the happy-go-lucky guy. Now, they get there and they find out that this is where um, Genix, um, one of the um, Moreland brothers, one of the inheritors, this is like his world, and this is the clone factory, where basically everyone in this hospital is a clone. There's like... You see, I think, like, three or four different type of people in this. And Gen X is, you know, controlling them. And right away, they get caught, web up the guy, alarm sound, they go into action, they, you know, start kicking butt. Iron Man shows up. They think that Iron Man's a friend, but they find out that, you know, this is his world. And on this world, Iron Man works for Gen X. And he's like, oh, he'll really, you know, hook me up. Seems like this Iron Man isn't the technology guy, this Tony Stark. This Tony Stark is actually, um, gets all his ideas and tech from Gen X. That's how it, it, it was worded. Maybe wrong, but that's how I read it. And, um, you know, they take out Tony. They, fig they take off his armor because in the Ultimate Universe, Tony told... Jessica how to take off the armor and they you know they come up with a plan to get into the head place where they're gonna um where all the clones are manufactured where Gen X is at and they do it by taking Ben Riley and putting him inside of the armor and have him walk both um Jessica Drew and Kane into the the um the place saying that you know there are clones who don't want to get with it and then Jessica goes and you think everything is going to go as planned but then Johnny Storm who's like another um, person who works for Gen X says hey this is Peter Parker I know this guy what's going on here and everybody's attention's on them now so their cover may be blown don't know I think the next issue will probably take off on someone else narrating the story instead of Jessica Drew. Like the story, um, giving the story four stars. <clears throat> the art I also liked. It could have been a little bit better, I think, but it was really strong art, so I'm giving the art four stars. And overall, that makes this a four-star book. I, re I recommend picking it up, I mean... But I'm also a Ben Riley fan. I love Ben Riley in this issue. And I even like Kane a lot better in this issue. He seems a lot better than he was in his old in his own book. So once again, overall four stars. Highly recommend you pick it up. Well those are my thoughts. Now I want to know what yours are in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Check out Comic Frontline, the site for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow 
me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.